Hey there, this is Joanna, founder of Wounds to Scars and creator of the online course Parenting After Trauma. So I've been doing a series of videos on connecting and on relationships and I was deliberate about that because I know that sometimes the, the trauma, the hurt, the pain that we experience causes problems in connecting with others. That's one of the common thing I see among the people that I work with and the people that come to my retreats and my events. So today I want to talk about shame. I want to talk about how to disrupt shame forever. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I just, I recently did a poll in my closed Facebook group, Wounds That Heal, and I asked, what's the one thing that keeps you from healing emotionally? And 90% of the respondents says fear and shame. So now I want to talk about shame, how to disrupt shame forever. Brene Brown says shame cannot survive empathetic connection. So how do we empathetically connect with people so that shame can, cannot thrive in our lives anymore? So here's some of the things that we can do. Number one, you can become vulnerable. You can practice vulnerability. So you might be saying, well, Joanna, how do I practice vulnerability? People always leave. Nobody sticks around. I am okay on my own. I don't have many friends. How do I do that? How, who do I become vulnerable with when I can't trust people and I don't know anyone? So do you see how many issues that that one statement raised and how complex it can become? So I'm going to give you one simple thing to begin to do so that you can become vulnerable and you can empathetically connect with people so that shame can be disrupted in your life. So here is what you can begin to do. You can begin to show yourself love and sympathy. You can begin to pay attention to the wounded part of you that hasn't been healed and to give it care and attention. How do you give that part of your care and attention? Sometimes it might be acknowledging that this happened and I've never dealt with it. It might be acknowledging that I keep getting hurt over and over and over. I don't know why, but I'm going to pay some attention to myself. I'm going to invest in myself and find the reasons for why this thing keeps repeating in my life. When you do that, you'll be showing yourself love and empathy, and then it's the starting place to becoming empathetically connected with others and disrupting shame in your life. So you start to pay that side of your attention. You start to think, maybe I need to attend that retreat. Maybe I need to see a counselor. Maybe I need to read some books that is really designed around my my pain, my hurt, this thing, trying to understand it. Maybe I need to go to the library and get those materials so I can read them. And as you begin to do that, begin to understand yourself a little bit more and appreciate and love on the part of you that was hurting, it makes it easier to be able to say it, to tell your truth to someone. Because then you won't fear what they say. So say you've done that, you're on the journey, and you have a friend and they said, oh, what are you reading? You said, oh, you know, I'm reading this book because I want to learn to understand more about myself because I've had certain experiences in my life that has caused me some pain and I want to understand more about it. So you see that? You're, you're, you're sharing a part of you that perhaps you've never shared before. You're saying things that you were too ashamed to even say without saying it. You, you know, you were even sometimes ashamed to say, I've had some experiences in my life that has caused me great harm and I want to learn to understand it. So you're on the beginning, the road to becoming vulnerable, to, to share your truth appropriately to others, to empathetically connect, to, shame, to disrupt shame in your life. Shame is crippling. It will stop you from healing. It will stop you from fostering relationships. It will stop you from owning your own truth to yourself even to the extent that you will find a counselor to work through that truth with because you're so ashamed of it. Shame will make you carry your pain so sensitively and tender that you will lie to yourself that nobody else will be able to help you carry this. Only you one can. It will tell you that no one understands, no one has ever been through what you've been through, and no one has ever walked your journey. And I, you know, if you listen to this, I just want to let you know that that's not true because shame will lie to you. Shame will keep you in darkness, isolate you and plunge you into depression. So I want to encourage you that if you've recognized yourself in anything that I've said, if anything that has resonated with you, I want to encourage you to begin to look at that, to look at what do I do? What's the beginning steps? 
if you've taken steps before, how do I take some more to move me on from where I am to where I need to be? So that you can disrupt shame in your life and let it take no more. Let it steal no more of your future. Take back what it's taken. You know, the Bible says that the years of the palmer worm and the canker worm, we will, re, you know, we will get back the years of the palmer worm and the canker worm. And I pray that that will be your experience as you take steps to disrupt shame in your life. Take care.